What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we're back at Copart for another walk around. So let's jump into this video and see what we find. I've shown this before and here it is again. I don't know why, but every time I see this thing, I kind of want it. Um, I, I don't know what I would do with it. I, I have no use for this. Maybe I would use it just to haul vehicles in and out of my garage. I, I, I don't know. Um, other than that, I don't really see... What is that? Anything that I could use this for. Interesting. My phone was just talking to me. Anyway, um, yeah, we have taken a peek at this before, and you guys, you guys seemed to like it. So I decided to take another peek at it. That's a big engine, guys. <laughs> that's a, that's a big engine. She's been sitting a long, long time. I don't expect that it runs, but it's an 85 International S1700. And there's the batteries down there. It's a manual transmission. Huh. And then it's got, what is this, a two-speed rear end? I don't know how, I don't know how this works, guys. I don't know what this button's for. Well, I pushed it and now it doesn't, now it doesn't go back up. <laughs> Uh-oh. There it goes. Yeah, I have no idea what this button does. I don't know anything about this. Um, I guess it's a two-speed rear end. The steering has a little slop, just a tad bit. It's only got 77,000 miles, and yes, that is a seven-digit odometer. It's 077825.2. I love this thing. Should we put a jump on it? I mean, I'm just curious. I am. I can't help it. I'm curious about it. I don't know what I would do with it, but I kind of do want it. Well, I'm not going to lie. My booster pack is down to its last bar. So the idea of it actually being able to fire this up is, uh, <laughs> well, I don't think it's likely to happen. Um, well, let's try it. Haha. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, she needs more than that, guys. It turns over. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's not going to cut it. That is not going to cut it. Dang. Well, I wish I had some jumper cables or something, but... Yeah, this booster pack is just, uh, <laughs> she's dead, man. She's dead. And boy, those cables got warm. <laughs> well, like I said, I didn't expect that this little jumper pack was going to be able, especially being dead. If it was fully charged, maybe. But as dead as this thing is, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it would. But on a positive note, it did try to crank. It sounds like the engine turned over. You know, if you could get a, a strong jump on this thing, I don't know if it'll run, but I guarantee you she'll crank. It, it, it's old school, man. This has got to be super simplistic. I guarantee you we could make this run. All right, we're going to look around at some semi-trucks, and then we might go take a look at some of the cars they got over here. This is uh, tragic, seeing stuff like that, man. So many of these trucks, it's like when they get in accidents, it's bad. You know, it's, it's not minor. Uh, these things just it looks like they just disintegrate uh, that's what it looks like I mean I know they're big and they're heavy and they're strong for sure but I mean at the end of the day 70 miles an hour getting into a car wreck these guys can't stop like the rest of us can it's bad it's really bad I don't know what happened here that looks like it was an ambulance and something went straight through the window and the horn look at the air horn and then what oh tornado that makes sense yep tornado damage oh wow oh yeah this thing's full of mud 
Look at this. Wow. There's your screen with all of your stuff. I don't, I don't know what any of that does. I guess this is not a fire truck. It's an EMS ambulance. It's got a shattered window right here, bullseye in it. And look right there, looks like part of a house or something went right through it. How crazy is that? Wow, this window's busted out too. Can we not get in any of this? Is it, the whole thing's locked. Oh, wow. Yeah. Boy, this is rough. This is real rough. I'd love to have something like this though. Auto eject. I don't know. <laughs> That's probably for keeping things charged up when it's not in use. Let's continue on. Let's see what else they got. See what I mean? There's another one. There's another one, man. Just these these poor truckers. Uh, I feel so bad for them, man. Uh, I couldn't. I just. I couldn't imagine being in an accident like that. You know what I mean? Just hope everybody's okay. Plenty of trucks out here, and here's the interesting thing, at least I think, the public can buy semi-trucks. Yeah, like, you or me could purchase one of these semi-trucks. Now, I think, and I, I don't know this for certain, but I think you can drive one of these home without a CDL. Of course, you wouldn't want to drive a salvaged one. That could get you into some big trouble, but I'm saying if you could find one that was not salvaged, I think you are allowed to drive it home as long as you're not crossing state lines. There are some, there's some rules to that, okay? Number one, you cannot cross state lines in the truck. Number two, you have to be unloaded. Now I think as long as you're unloaded and you're not gonna be crossing state lines and you just bought it, you are allowed to drive a semi truck home. So, you know, I, I, I think you guys can comment below and tell me if that's true or not. And the reason I think that is because I saw a YouTuber and he did just that. He did not have a CDL. He bought the truck. It was in the state. He drove it home unloaded and he made it. And then he went and got his CDL and then he used the semi truck to haul cars. So I thought that was kind of cool. Here's something you don't get to see very often. And that is an engine and transmission out of one of these semi trucks. That's, that's pretty rare. Take a look at the transmission in these things. It's massive. I, I mean, this is absolutely, this is absolutely massive. Um, look at that cylinder head. Good Lord. The thing is, is absolutely gigantic. I don't think I've ever seen a semi truck engine and or transmission outside of the vehicle. Massive turbo, man. Look at the turbo on that thing. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can see the compressor wheel in there. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I could buy a semi truck. Now, there's an idea. I would be down for trying to drive it home. Um, I could do it. I could do it. I, I think I'd have to watch a couple YouTube videos, but I think I could figure it out. That would be a fun video, guys. Let's drive a semi truck home. Now, after that, do I plan on getting a CDL? No. So I don't know what I don't know what I would do after that. Oh, a garbage truck. Ooh, these these when you see them here, they're usually burnt down. I, I don't know what the deal is with garbage trucks, man. But yeah, when you find them here, they're typically burnt to a crisp and they smell god awful. Thankfully, this one this one does not. There's, a, there's another truck that looks like something just drove through the back of it. Good night, man. Now, here's a decent looking one. This is not too bad. How bad is it? This doesn't look too bad anyway. Electronic driver's logs. This is a 2020 Freightliner. Is that what it said? Yeah, Freightliner. Boy, these things are just, they're massive. Oh, and the fuel tank is left open? What did he suck out all the... Oh, there's diesel in there. There's diesel in there. Oh, this doesn't look too bad. This actually doesn't look too bad at all. Why is this here? Oh. Oh. 
Did it roll? I think it did. I didn't see that. I got to remember to look up. There's some, uh, there's some damage up there. Oh, and someone was painting, I guess. They got a paint roller in here. Why would you be painting in the truck? I, I don't know. I wonder if the, uh, let's see. No, dead as a doornail. Wow. Drive shaft is laying, uh, laying on the floor there. That's pretty common. They take the drive shaft off before they tow these things in. Take a look at the size of the compressor on these things. They're absolutely huge. Oh, man. See, that's, that's another example of what I'm talking about, man. I just, I hate seeing things like that. Whew. Wow. All right. Are we running out? I think we are. There's a school bus over there. Yeah, I think we're running out. I'm not going to walk all the way down there. But I did just find a Platinum F-150. If you guys haven't been watching, I am looking for an F-150. I'm almost completely set on an F-150 now. So I just saw this. It's a little bit of a walk for me, but... That's okay. I, I want to see. It's probably crunched in the front, ripped off. It's not. It's not. This. This looks good. Veteran owned. Oh. Hail damage. Hail damage. Patriot Life member. Yeah, it's hail damage. And this does not look like an EcoBoost. This is probably a 5 liter. Ooh, hello. Thank you, running boards. It's got pretty bad hail damage, but again, it's a work truck, so do we really care? Has a remote start, that's nice. Oh yeah, that's a V8. That sounds like a Coyote. What year is this? It's an 11. Let's pop the hood. It's got the screen, air-conditioned seats. Let's get that air conditioning going. There we go. 111,000 miles. The sunroof is not shattered. That's good. This is really nice. Sounds good, too. Sounds really, really nice. Just a lot of hail damage, though. What is this? New shoes? Look at this. Oh, those aren't new shoes. But it comes with, it comes with a pair of shoes, guys. Yeah. It even says platinum on the seats. Nice sounding exhaust. Well, hello. It's got the grandpa handle. One day, one day, I'm gonna upgrade to one of the new ones. I think they call it a power boost instead of an eco boost. I think it's called an F-150 power boost. One day I'm talking about like a King Ranch power boost. It's the hybrid, it's got like 580 pound, pound feet of torque. It's insane. Oh, this is the EcoBoost. Really? I thought this was a V8. That exhaust sounded really healthy. Okay. I, I'm shocked. I truly am. I'm shocked. And it didn't rattle when it started up. So that's nice. That was a very common problem on the early EcoBoost engines was the rattling every time you started up. Now, they'll last 100, 100 200,000 miles with that rattle, it's really not a big deal. Um, it's just one of the traits of the 3.5 EcoBoost from the earlier generations. This is not bad. In fact, the worst of the hail just appears to be on the hood. I mean, if you replace that hood in the windshield, it would make a world of difference. Truthfully, the fender, the doors on this side look good. The roof, a little dinged up, but not that bad. And this side doesn't look that bad either. It's mainly the hood, man. I'd swap out the hood and I'd call it a day. Yeah, there's a couple dings on the side, but nothing serious. Could this be the one? Let's see if that air conditioning works. It does. It sure does. 
I like the integrated trailer brake. I like the screen, backup camera. Very, very nice. Yeah. I like this. Guys, we might we might have found one. We might have found one. Let's go to uh, fuel economy. Uh, instant. Thank you. Zero. And does it not have any uh, any average fuel economy? There we go. Eleven miles a gallon. Okay, and twelve point five. That's uh, that's not very good, but you know whatever. Guys, yeah, I kind of want this. I'm gonna have to put this one on the list for sure. It started right up. It didn't need a jump. It runs perfect. The Platinum Edition, so it's it's loaded up pretty well for a 2011. Wheels look good. Tires look good. Just needs a little bit of cosmetic work. Yeah, I'm digging this. Let me put this one on my list. All right, well, it's not on sale yet, but you can bet money I'm going to be keeping my eyes on that one. That's perfect. It's definitely way within the price range I was looking uh, at anyway. There's a Jeep. We're just going to kind of walk through these and see if there's anything interesting. A CLA 250, another Tahoe, a Nissan Versa. I like these old Fords, though. Uh, oh, well, that one took a pretty nasty hit to the front, but I just love this old body style of Ford. There's just something about it, man. The single cab, a big old long bed, and, and really bubbly looking. I, I, I like them, I do. And there's a there's something over here. Can we just walk over here real quick? I wasn't gonna come over here and show this to you, but I've decided to go ahead. It looks like it's burnt to a crisp, but how about an old Mustang? Poor thing. That's really sad. I guarantee this was somebody's baby, man. This was somebody's baby. And with all the stuff dumped all over it, it looks like it caught on fire because it was in a garage. I don't think the car itself actually caught on fire. I think it was in a garage or a structure that caught on fire. Look, you've got circuit boards literally melted to the roof. Look at this. This is a circuit board melted to the roof of the car. So it was in a garage or a shop. And uh, look at that. That's sad. That's really sad, man. Oh, it was a beautiful car. <sighs> this is totally savable. Totally savable. I bet the doors still work. Okay, I'll bet you the doors don't work. <laughs> Look at those hood pins. <sighs> yeah, well... Anyway, I saw it sitting over here, and I wanted to show it to you. And then, is this one of the new EVs? One of the new Honda, or Hyundai, sorry, Hyundai EVs. Like an EV6 or something. It's a 22 Ionic 5, so it's, I guess it's a hybrid. Took a nasty whack in the back. I actually had an Ionic for a short time, probably six years ago. They're trying to be like Tesla. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, that's actually, does that shut itself or what? I have no idea. This is, uh, this is too new technology for me. I'm not into all this stuff, man. I do kind of like this. Oh yeah, look, this door opened too. Oh, okay. Oh man, you got some screens. Ooh. Okay. 27% battery. Let's take this for a ride. I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't want to admit it, but I, I kind of like it. Yeah, this is definitely not the Ionic I was in. Um, mine was nowhere near that nice. Anyway, let's get back over here to the other side. That's where we were. And uh, let's see what else we can find over here. I see a Cadillac. I see a... A Chevrolet pickup truck, a couple Chevrolets. One looks like a Dirty Max with an Allison. Just take a quick walk by that real quick. Doesn't hurt to peek. Like I said, I'm looking. I'm looking for a truck, but uh, I was looking for. 
I was planning on spending somewhere around twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars on one. This is a Z71. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of these trucks, though. I know there's a lot of people out there that are just personally not my cup of tea. Here's you another, uh, another Silverado, an AT4 Duramax 66 Allison transmission. Don't know why this one's here, but it sure is nice. I'll give it that. This is gonna be way outside my budget. Boy, that's nice. Let's just look at it. <laughs> Ugh, we'll just. We're just window shopping, right? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. I mean, I guess I could go take a loan and have another car payment. Come on. Oh my goodness. I, I could. I could take out another loan. Maybe I could take out a second mortgage on my house, you know? Oh, this is, this is too nice. This is too nice. Yeah. Air conditioned seats. Look at all the buttons, man. The wireless charging. Yeah, I like it. Your trailer modes, 4x4, four four. It's, it's got everything. It's got everything. Lost type is unknown, but it's through an insurance company. So, you know, obviously something happened to it because I don't know if you know, but these trucks aren't cheap. These trucks cost a lot of money. Uh, I don't see a damn thing wrong. <laughs> nothing, nothing. This truck looks... It looks perfect. It looks like it almost just rolled out of the showroom floor. That's kind of unbelievable. Here's another one. I mean, not the same truck, but here's another one, an AT4. What? Could these be from a dealership? No, this one's wrecked. Duramax Carbon Pro. Yeah, no, this one, this one, this one, yeah, definitely took a bit of a hit. There's a Hummer. We're just browsing around, guys. See if see what we can see out here. There's an old GMC, not this one, the one over there. Eh, we'll skip that. I'm really, I know what I'm looking for. Oh man, a cop car. Don't do it, Randy. You've already got one and you haven't touched it yet. We're gonna try to get to that maybe this weekend. An Impala. We're gonna pass on that one too because I think you guys have seen enough of those. No, we'll see, guys. There, there's bound to be something else out here. I'm, I'm really, really attracted to that Ford that we saw uh, a lot earlier in the video. That's the one. Like, I really think that's the one that I want. As far as these goes, heck, is that an Escalade? Well, there's something for Monkey Wrench Mike right there. That's a good-looking Escalade, man. Oh, hail damage. This is still not bad. I told you guys, you know, for a work truck, who cares? Who cares if it's got some hail damage? It's an 03. Nice tires, Michelins. You know, it's a little tore up on the interior. That's normal. The seats are all usually tore up. It's got the screens. Wow. I mean, it smells, but it's dead. And I left my booster pack, so I ain't gonna mess with it, but Either way, it's not a bad looking Escalade. Of course, another Impala. I, I told you guys we're gonna walk right past it. Watch me, watch me. Look, there I go, I walked right past it. Yeah, they got a lot of nice cars out here, but I really do know what I'm looking for. Although, don't do it, man. Another hail car, so many hail vehicles out here, and so many of these are gonna be good running and driving vehicles. They just have hail damage. You know, here's an F-250. It's got quite a bit of hail damage, but it looks decent. Oops, the whole side is trash. Forget it. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sure that affected the payout. I, I guarantee you that affected the payout. Let's see if we got anything else. I see a Beamer. Not really interested in a wrecked Beamer. A Lincoln. I love a Lincoln. No. So many cars to go through out here, guys. And we're not even scratching the surface, you know what I mean? So do me a favor, if you see anything that you're like, hey, 
Man, you walked right by it and you missed it. Well, I'll do my best to catch it on one of the next videos if I have the time. There's a Range Rover. That's another one that I know better. I know better than even, even look at these things. Severe hail damage, we'll, we'll pass that one up too. I'm just not seeing very much that personally I'm interested in today. But I'm on a mission for a truck and that's kind of my main goal. I've got all kinds of cars. I don't really need any other cars unless I find something that's just super unique, super rare, something you just don't see anymore. Then uh, maybe that'll be, ooh. Yes. Oh, oh no, ouch. And then the quarter panel, yeah. Oh, and that quarter panel too. Well, I've always wanted one of those Thunderbirds. Don't ask me why, I, I don't know. It's just, I've just always wanted one and maybe someday I'll buy one. I don't expect the views are gonna be very good. You know, I don't think that's a hot commodity item, but uh, either way, it's just something I've always wanted. I think we're gonna get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back to the old Ram 3500. And I'm ready to get into some air conditioning and cool down. So do me a favor if you enjoyed today's video, well, hit that thumbs up button and let me know. Also, consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And uh, drop the comments down below, guys. Till next time, stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.